Hey, welcome back to another episode of Virtual Gov Expert. Today we're going to talk about a kind of a relatively new technique uh, that's out there. Uh, I've had a few comments about it, a few questions about it on the uh, on our private Facebook group as well as on um, the YouTube channel. So I thought we would actually describe kind of what it is, what it's for, what it's not for, uh, and kind of what we expect before we had some of the stuff that we have now, before we had some of the patches and some of the options um, to re repair the rotator cuff. Uh, oftentimes we'd use tendons from somewhere else to help bridge that gap, to improve it. And so we still use them to a lesser degree, but we have other solutions that are not robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak. Uh, and so we don't use them as much as we used to. So before uh, lat transfer, so latimus, latissimus dorsi, which is kind of underneath here, we would transfer it to replace uh, the rotator cuff. It would help us restore some of the motion uh, of a rotator cuff tear. Specifically, in this instance, when we talk about the lower trap reconstruction. So instead of using a lat, we're gonna use a lower trap. The lower trap um, has a similar pull uh, as the more posterior aspect of the rotator cuff. Okay, so what does that mean? So the most common rotator cuff tear we have is supraspinatus. Supraspinatus is in the front, right? It's in the front of the shoulder, and it helps us elevate a lot. I mean, that's really its predominant a function is elevation. So we have the subscap, which is in the front, which is internal rotation. We have the teres minor, the infraspinatus, which has to do with external rotation. It just has to do with where they attach to the head and how their mechanism, when they contract that muscle, what happens to the ball. And so when we're talking about a posterior superior damage tear, which is usually infraspinatus, maybe into the teres minus, maybe a little bit into the back of the supraspinatus. So infraspinatus is, is if that's the primary muscle that's torn, which is not typically the primary muscle that's torn, but it can be. So this does have some limited applications. The whole point of this operation, the lower trap reconstruction, is to give you more external rotation, right? And external rotation is important, um, but so is elevation and so is internal rotation. So, so you would never do a, a lower trap transfer reconstruction for a subscapular layers repair because it, that's not what the subscapular layers does. And so if you reconstruct it, it would, it would mess up the, the mechanics of the shoulder. So what's important is we're looking for external rotation and we're looking for um, the infraspinatus predominantly torn. That's gonna be the primary torn tendon, okay? And so what happens is we look at this diagram that I so beautifully created. So the lower trap is this little, this, these little uh, lines coming to pink. When the lower trap comes down, this is the shoulder blade. So this is your spine here. And this is the medial edge or the inner edge of the shoulder blade here. There's some muscles that come here, but that's not important. So the, the lower trap comes down and attaches just, just below this spine of the scapula is what we call it. This is the spine of the scapula. What that is, is here is the supraspinatus above it and the infraspinatus below it. And that's what the spine, that's, that's referred to the spine, right? Above the spine, supra, below the spine, infra. So we come in on here, make a decision, find this um, lower part of the trap, and detach it. And why we need to do a reconstruction and not a repair is because this doesn't make it over here, right? So it doesn't go all the way over here. So what we have to do is use some sort of graft. Usually it's Achilles. In the Achilles graft, what we'll do is, is we'll do this probably arthroscopically, although you could do open par here. You come over here and you make a graft and this graft is a tendon that comes over here. And because your, let's say your infraspinatus is crappy in here, it won't make it all over there, right? So you make the graft and you repair it down to the rotator cuff footprint of the infraspinatus. In this graft, then you can, through this incision, you can um, go up and pull the graft back in here. So then the graft goes to here, right? So we have a graft here and we move this and reconnect the lower trap into here and tie it down. So then we have this muscle kind of pulling this way instead through the graft to the back of the rotator cuff. And so when this muscle contracts, the lower trap contracts, what happens is it pulls and it actually external rotates the muscle. So if you can imagine in the back of my shoulder, if this tendon is coming up and over around and when it contracts, it's gonna do this. So it's gonna create a external rotation force. So that'll recreate um, the, the infraspinatus and maybe the teres minor, okay? Reconstruction, it's a big deal because you have to have a big incision here. Uh, you have to have an A and an N incision here to get to the lower trap reconstruction. And then you have to tunnel between here and here underneath 
So it would be underneath the spine and scapula to get here. So you get that to pull that back in. So it's a reconstruction, which it means you use somebody else's tissue. We use Achilles typically. The Achilles is donated tissue from somebody else. Um, and then we use part, I mean, we use the tendon of the lower trap, but the lower trap can't make it over there. So it's a big deal. It takes a long time for this to heal. It takes a long time for this to heal too. So we're doing really a reconstruction, which makes a much longer recovery. And I'm going a little bit long on this explanation. So maybe we'll do another one talking about the recovery. What we typically expect time-wise recovery after this lower trap reconstruction, if someone's interested. So if you're interested and say, yeah, I'd like to know how long, then put that in the comments. If you're not interested, put it in the comments too. Say, I don't, this is probably not what I care about. So can you talk about something else? Okay, please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Please comment. And again, if you have something else you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to let me know so I can give you the results or give you the information that you want. Thanks and we'll talk to you soon.